Welcome to another restoration. This is a Viscount 1979 uh, Grand Prix. Don't know too much about this bike. I know it's actually made in England, uh, quite interesting. And that the company, uh, well, they, uh, originally it was uh, Lambert and uh, Viscount, but that was like 1970s. Then bikes were quite expensive. This is a later model, 1979. So I think Yamaha or something like that actually took over. And we've got the Shimano components, brakes, stuff like that. We've got a simplex rear trailer on it, but uh, yeah, bit of a mixed bunch. But it's a later model, so I don't think it's that expensive. But does need uh, restoring. So um, regards of taking it back to its original state, notice it's uh, it's handlebar tape. It's probably still the same. Quite a cloth uh, tape itself, and uh, the uh, bracket for the lights missing. Needs a different saddle and uh, well everything just needs completely clean up. It's hardly turning to be honest with you. Um, but yeah the uh, the tyres definitely need uh, replacing. Real good clean up this one. It's uh, I don't think it's been clean for many many years. So let's crack on and uh, yeah see how it comes out. down everything came off uh, fairly okay the only thing that is damaged is the bottom bracket the uh, the ring that holds the bearings itself perished so that will read uh, replacing for sure and uh, yeah that's it it's, uh, it's all solid there's very very little rust so uh, yeah it should be a good one Here's the frame, all stripped down, it's all ready to be put back together then. All the equipment set out the side there. I've had a few issues with a few bits of equipment. First one was the crank and the pedals, they were completely and utterly seized on. So I had to strip the pedal down itself. We had to file down one side to get a good grip on the actual pedal itself and heat it up, lubricate it, let it cool down, heat it up, let it cool down. Just that process basically and really get the uh, the lubricant in there as much as possible. So managed to free them, but unfortunately we've sacrificed the pedals. So I've got all of some other pedals uh, within keeping. Got the rat trap pedals themselves, so they're actually in keeping with the bike itself compared to the old original ones. The other thing as well that I've had a bit of problem with was the simplex rear derailleur. Um, the actual mechanism, the, uh, <coughs> the spring, is actually corroded inside, so I managed to put a similar Shimano rear derailleur on there. And what I've also purchased is I've got a Brooks saddle, so a nice Brooks saddle there. Um, put some new handlebar tape, some nice white cloth handlebar tape, because that's what was actually on the bike when I received it. And I've also managed to source some 27 inch, inch and a quarter gun wall tyres for the wheels themselves. The other thing I've got, which was just to finish it off as well, is a lovely nice chrome pump. So should look really well when it's put back together. So. Let's crack on and make a start.
Okay, well, bike's all finished. What a result, it's come out really well. Just a deep clean has really changed this bike. It was ready for the scrap heap, uh, I'm sure, but uh, yeah, we brought it back and it's now ready to be ridden again from 1979s. Looks amazing, just a bit of deep cleaning. Uh, really enjoying the, uh, the lamp bracket here as well, what I managed to purchase. But also what I didn't mention was we've got these uh, quick release wing nuts which were the first sort of quick release mechanisms. Wing nuts down here, they're actually uh, in keeping with the bike itself. I've seen, I noticed on the brochure itself I had them on. So just on the front wheel and uh, yeah, it uh, looks amazing, it looks so much better. Really happy I've done this. All that's left to do now though I suppose is try it out and get it out on the road. Well, this really has been a great ride. Bit of a bone uh, rattler, but from 1979 to bring it back to life and get it back on the road, 36 years old, who'd have thought, doesn't look it at all. But uh, really enjoyed doing this project. If you do enjoy watching the videos, then please subscribe and uh, yeah, drop us a like. All the best and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>